guys and welcome back to another nail video. This one is a bit special because this one is inspired by my best friend who recently died who is my so faithful dog Braid. We had her for 15 years and she had to be put to sleep a few days ago and I really wanted to do something that was inspired and in remembrance of my Braid. She was if you want to read about it, I'll put something in the description box, but my heart is breaking at the moment. <laughs> anyway, uh, the items I'm using today, I'll just go through them. So I am using Neo's Crystal Clear, High Speed Acrylic Liquid, Flawless Nail Bed, Sea Foam. Now these ones are from Smiley's Glitter Store and this one is Holographic Spearmint Surprise. And she also does this mesh. I absolutely love this. You get two in each, because I've already done my other hand, so I, I have cut some up, but I'll show you how I use that in a bit. And from the nail candy shop, I am using these Color Shift Candy Dots. These are the nails I'm using today. I will actually leave a link to where else you can get these because my mum found them on eBay. Okay guys, so I'm going to first start off by prepping my nails, so I'm just going to get a small crystal and drill bit and just get all the rubbish from around my cuticle area. Then I'm going to get some prep from Mega Mix Nails and then Young Nails Protein Bond. So let me just explain a bit about this. As you can see around my cuticle area, it's a mess. When I have stress, my mum is exactly the same. We peck and we can't help it, it's just something that happens. So I just wanted to put that out there before anybody else decided to point the, the fact out that my cuticles are terrible. <laughs> so next I'm just going to put the false tips on and file them down slightly so they blend into my natural nail. Okay, so now then we're on. Another thing, stress causes my, my skin to just peel off and it's been so bad lately. As you can see, all there. But this side here is really bad. Just thought, I'd, again, I'd let you know because uh, I'm sure somebody will point it out, but that is what happens to me as well when I get stressed. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just going to file these babies down just so they blend in a little bit. Okay, so first I'm just going to get nails clear and I'm going to put a thin layer of that over my nail bed. So before I put the colours on, I'm going to get this netting stuff and I'm going to cut it to shape. So, let me think what I'm doing, that was it. So I'm just going to line things up and then, because I don't want to waste any. So is there, so I'm just going to cut down to there and then that is for my thumb. And then I will just do the rest of that for my other fingers. And then that is how I cut that. So I'm gonna put this on with some glue. Okay. 
Okay, so what I'm trying to go for is that Braid loved the beach. She loved water, she loved going on walks. But when we took her to the beach, she loved it. She loved going in the sea, she loved racing on the sand, just everything. So these are, as you can see by the title, beach nails. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to use the flawless nail bed that represents the sand. Then after that, I'm going to use Neo's sea foam that represents the dark side of the sea. <laughs> Then I'm going to use Holographic Spearmint Sprays. That's the other part of the nice looking sea. And then at the bottom, I just wanted to incorporate this uh, blue netting type thing, just because, just because it looked really nice. And then in between some of them colors, I am going to put the uh, candy dots as pebbles on the beach. And that's what I was going for in this design. So for my ring finger, I'm just going to put the Spearmint Surprise all over and then encapsulate it with Neo's Clear. to get some of this pure acetone and a lint free wipe these are from Neo these are amazing guys really good so I'm just gonna wipe down over the nails and this makes them nice and smooth and also gets rid of all the dust and then I'm going to top coat my nails with Neo's mega gloss gel sealer and cure in my LED lamp for 60 seconds Okay, so for the last bit, I'm just going to get some glue and I want to make a kind of like a cross on this nail. So I'm going to get the items that you can see on the screen right now. And I'm hopefully going to put it in line. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't usually put like bling on my nails much anymore because it rips my hair out, something shocking. So I'm going to get the glue again and just put it down the side so I can put these gorgeous stones on. Alright 
guys that is the end of the video I really hope my tribute to my beautiful dog who we both had for 15 years I hope this did justice to her because she was just everything to me she was just everything all right guys if you enjoyed this video i would love it if you would consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification just so that you can get told whenever i upload a video okay guys thank you so much for watching this one and i hope to see you next time bye guys